when you're doing squats, you're bending at the hips and the knees. So multi-joint compound movement. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to build muscle if you're a man over 40 and I'm gonna give you the complete guide, all right? I'm also gonna give you a optional tip, but here's the thing. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you click on that bell icon. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. All right, muscle. Why is muscle important? Muscle is very important for older men. Here's what happens. The less muscle you have on your body, the more estrogen your body is gonna produce the slower your metabolism is gonna be, meaning the quicker you're gonna be able to accumulate fat. The weaker you're gonna be, you're just not gonna look the same, not gonna feel the same. So basically what you wanna focus on is building more muscle as quickly but as optimally as possible as well. So what are some of the things you really need to do to build muscle after 40 when you're older? Once you hit 30, your testosterone levels start to drop muscle starts to completely leave your body, man. It's called sarcopenia, just natural muscle wasting over time as you get older. But you can reverse some of that or at least slow some of that stuff down. How? By doing these things I'm about to share with you guys, all right? The first thing you really wanna focus on is making sure you're eating in a caloric surplus, meaning just eat more calories than your body can burn. But that doesn't mean eating crappy food. It means eating quality food, whole nutrient dense foods. Eliminate all the processed crap, all the fast food stuff. At least 90% of the time, you should be focused on nutrient dense whole foods, all right? So again, 90%. So there's still some room in there for some of those convenience foods or some things you like, especially when your goal is building more muscle. All right, so here's the other thing you really wanna make sure that you're doing. Not only should you be eating more food, eating more quality food, but you gotta be doing some type of resistance training at least four times per week. So here's the thing, when I'm talking resistance training, you need to make sure you're lifting weights. You also wanna make sure though that you're doing the right type of exercises. So I don't mean going to the gym or working out at home, doing a bunch of bicep curls, a bunch of leg extensions. You wanna make sure you're utilizing compound movements. So what are compound movements? Compound movements are exercises that require two joints and also you're working more than one muscle group. What do I mean? Let's look at shoulders for instance. If we're trying to build shoulders, you've probably done some lateral raises before, side laterals. Okay, here's the thing with the lateral raise. The only joint that's working is your shoulder joint. Also, you're only working the shoulder itself. So that's more of an isolation movement. We wanna focus more on compound movements. That doesn't mean you can't do any isolation movements because I actually like doing lateral raises and they help shape the side of your delts. But the primary movement for a shoulder should be an overhead press. So here's what's happening when you do an overhead Press. When you're doing overhead, you notice I'm bending at the shoulder and also the elbow. So two joints are moving at the same time. Not only are you working your shoulders when you're doing this, but your triceps are a secondary mover. You're working your triceps, even your core for helping to stabilize your overall body while you're pressing the weight over your head. So same with legs. Let's use legs as an example. If you're doing leg extensions, you're sitting on a bench, doing some leg extensions. The only thing, the only joint that's moving when you're doing a leg extension is your knee. Your knee's moving and your focus, all of your emphasis is gonna be on the quadricep muscle. Now compare that to a squat. When you're doing squats, you're bending at the hips and the knees. So multi-joint, compound movement. Not only are you working your quads, but you're working your glutes and your hamstrings. All right, so more than one muscle is involved in that movement, more than one joint is working during that movement. So that is a compound movement. So we're talking even bench press. We're talking back rows, overhead press, squats, like we already mentioned. 
Those are the exercises you really want to focus on because not only are you working more muscle when you do that, but you're also increasing your metabolism, which is gonna help you eliminate some of that body fat because even though the goal is to build muscle, you still wanna get some of that fat off of your body. The next thing that's happening when you're doing the compound movements is you're increasing testosterone levels and growth hormone levels. So those are crucial hormones when you're trying to build muscle, not only for men over 40, but for all men, all right? You really wanna optimize your hormones, but specifically when you're over 40, because as I mentioned earlier, once you hit 30, man, it's naturally declining already. So by doing these exercises, you're actually gonna be able to boost those levels up. All right, the next thing I wanna share with you guys, you're eating in a surplus, you're incorporating some compound movements, you're doing your four day a week resistance training. Now you wanna focus on what's called progressive overload. Basically, that means just make improvements with your weights or your reps. So it can be every workout or every other workout. But here's the key point when I'm talking about progressive overload. That doesn't mean focus on increasing the isolation movements. So back to the shoulders again. If you're doing dumbbell lateral raises, you'll notice it doesn't take a lot of weight for those to work. So if you're starting out doing 10, 15 pounds, you don't have to get 30, 35, 40 pounds. All right, but when we're talking about compound movements, because you're doing more than one joint, multi joints, then also more muscle, then that's where the improvements need to be made. So we're talking squats. So when you're doing your squats, if you start out doing 95 pounds, so do 95 pounds, but focus on progressive overload, meaning make sure you jump to 100 pounds then 105 pounds, 110 pounds. So that's when your body is gonna to start to produce more muscle. You've gotta give your body a reason to put that muscle on your body because here's the thing that naturally happens in our bodies. Our bodies naturally want homeostasis, meaning our bodies wanna stay the same. They don't necessarily wanna put more muscle on our bodies, so we've gotta give it a reason to. When we're lifting more weight, you're telling your body, hey, this is strenuous, this is hard. So your body's going to respond by building more muscle. All right, so if you're doing the same weight constantly, if you stay with the 95 pounds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks into your program, then there's no need for your body to change. Your body's gonna adapt to doing that weight with what it already has. So you gotta overload your body. That's where the progressive overload comes from overload the muscle, overload the body, give it a reason to grow. All right, so now that one was covered. Now the next thing you really wanna focus on is rest and recovery, man, all right? You can't work out seven days a week and expect your body to grow. People need to understand, all right? Here's the thing, you're not growing when you're in the gym working out. When you're in the gym working out, you're working your muscle, you're creating micro tears in the muscle. So you're actually growing outside the gym when you're resting, you're feeding, you're recovering, you're replenishing. So that is crucial, which is why I recommend the four to five day a week resistance training. I like at least two days off. And that doesn't necessarily mean, say you wanna do four days. That doesn't mean you have to do Monday through Thursday. You can do two workouts, Take a day off to rest and recover, then do two more workouts. You can do two workouts, one day off, one workout, another day off. So you can change your split to fit your schedule. So that's not the big issue. The big issue is just four out of seven days, you're doing resistance training. The other three days, you're completely resting, refueling through your nutrition. Or if you're doing five days a week, like I said, then five days in the gym or at home, wherever you're choosing to work out, and two days recovering and replenishing. So that's the next step, all right? So now for the little bonus tip, it's kind of optional, but for older men, I actually recommend it. Got a ton of clients that I've been working with, been working with clients for 27 years, so I've been training guys for a long time, and one of the first things I realize is people like convenience. When it comes to eating whole foods all the time, I like to incorporate a lot of protein. Protein is what builds muscle in the first place. Not only does it build muscle, but it's metabolically active, meaning as you build protein, you're gonna be burning some fat along with it. So here's the thing that's difficult though, is getting enough protein throughout the day. So one of the things I recommend is taking a supplement, all right? And yes, supplements are optional, 
But if you really want optimal results and you're struggling with one of the components, if you're struggling with rest, you're struggling with getting good sleep, you're struggling with getting all the recommended protein in, that's where supplements help. All right, so again, they're not to replace the whole foods, they're just there when you need that convenience. You don't always have time to cook the chicken or the steak or the fish, eat the eggs, whatever it is that you're doing with your protein. So sometimes it's nice to just mix a quick, uh, make a quick shake down your 25 grams of protein and be done with it. All right, so protein, banana, that's great. Quick meal that you can do to offset a missed meal earlier in the day or something like that. All right, so supplements is the last tip. It's the protein. Another one that I highly recommend is a ZMA. All right, zinc and magnesium aspartate. Our bodies are deficient in both of those two minerals. So here's the thing, when you put those minerals back in your body, you suddenly have a testosterone booster because you're gonna get better sleep. So you take a ZMA supplement prior to going to bed. So it's not gonna help you get to sleep like a melatonin or something like that. But once you do get to sleep, it's gonna help you get into that deep REM sleep, the REM, rapid eye movement sleep. That's when your body is producing growth hormone, testosterone. So those are the prime, the prime uh, hormones for building muscle. So when you get into that good sleep consistently, then you're gonna be building muscle better, you're gonna be recovering from the workouts, and you're gonna wake up feeling refreshed and replenished. So those are key for building muscle, especially, man, as you get older, all right? So last thing I really want you to focus on is not only incorporating each of these things into your daily routine, but you gotta maintain consistency. So if you have two, three, four good days, but then you follow that with two or three bad days, then it's gonna take you forever to start seeing those results. So I look at building muscle just like I would lifting, uh, just like I would losing weight. You're not gonna lose a lot of weight if you don't do it consistently. If you have four perfect days of eating, even if you have five perfect days of eating, but you go out Saturday and you blow it, drinking a lot, eating a lot of crap, then that whole week was basically a waste, man. So it's the same thing when you're trying to grow. If you are eating in a caloric surplus for four or five days a week, you're working out, you're doing everything, you're getting good rest, but then you hit the weekend and you skip a couple meals, you stay out late, you get three or four hours of sleep, you do all of those things and it's gonna set you back. That whole week, same thing, pretty much a waste. So you gotta do these consistently to reap the rewards, all right? You wanna reap the benefits, you gotta be consistent with it, especially as an older guy. When you're younger, you can get away with a lot of crap because you got high testosterone levels, you got a higher metabolism, you got more muscle naturally on your body, but as we've aged, a lot of that is more challenging. We've got less muscle, we've got lower testosterone levels, lower hormone levels, uh, growth hormone levels, so then we're fighting the age issues, fighting the sarcopenia that I mentioned earlier. But man, I hope you like this video. I hope you get a lot out of it. And I do want you to follow these the best you can, especially if this is your goal. This video is for you guys that are trying to build that muscle and you realize the importance of muscle, especially for longevity. All right, because here's the thing with these older guys. I'm half a century old almost, all right? So I realize I've lived more of my life than I have left to live. It's a scary thought when you think about it. So just think if you're obese, if you're unhealthy, if you got a lot of visceral fat around your organs, you got a lot of these health issues going on, you got to remove the fat, you got to put the muscle on your body to get healthy. Not only to, like I said, look better, but to feel better because at the end of the day, it's all about your health and muscle is key for a man's health. All right, guys, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Also, if you have any questions at all about anything uh, to do with the video or anything at all, then put it in the comments section. But other than that, man, that's all that I got. Get busy, get after it, God bless.